Yo, what's happening, YouTube, fellow toy collectors, everybody, checking out the video, Gino Drake is back, and I'm back with one of my, probably one of my dopest toy hauls in a while, and I say that because I have figures representing all types of different characters, properties, all this, and <laughs> I don't even know where to start, honestly, but, alright, we're gonna do this, we're gonna start here first, because, I got tons of stuff, I got tons of dope figures I've been sitting on for a while, that's why I've been... I had to check my uh, previous toy haul videos to see what I hadn't shown off because one, I buy toys and sometimes I won't open them right away and I'll just kind of have them sick because I want to do a toy haul video but then like, oh, I'll be expecting another figure so I won't do it right away so then I just kind of extend it but now I'm finally do this because yeah, I just want to show all these cool toys. So I'm going to start with Pop, Funko Pop, uh, Walgreens exclusive Silk. Check her out, it's number 333. And yeah, welcome to I usually, sometimes I do unboxings of pops when I do my toy hauls. And so she's the only one I got. Oh, I'll pop her out. Oh, she has a stand too. Sweet. I wonder, wait, that, I didn't miss the stands on other ones. I may have, who knows. But I said this before about some of the lady pops. Their figures don't have, because they usually have narrower stances, they don't stand up as well, but there she is. Nice little stand, so she'll balance well. Cause I have my, I think, yeah, my Psylocke one. She always falls down. So I just took her down cause she's constantly falling. So there's uh, Silk. Next, Oof. oh, this one. This one, yeah, I just, <laughs> the Star Wars Black Series Archive, Boba Fett, found this, who knows how long ago, I don't remember, uh, Target or Walmart, Wally World, and I, I don't know, anybody who's new, uh, who hasn't been around for a while, or at least hasn't seen any of my 12 fingers, I'm not a big Star Wars guy, but they do make some cool, a few cool looking characters, and now I have three of the four cool looking ones, the best looking ones I think, which are Boba Fett, Jango Fett, Captain Phasma, who I call Captain Phantom in my uh, comic shop tour video, Captain Phasma, and then General Grievous, who is also out now. And yeah, I think Boba Fett was a part of the very first Black Series wave, so and then just a popular figure, cool design, whatever. So it was sold out, but then they started doing the archive figures, which is just Reproduction. I don't know which all figures are included. I didn't care. I just saw Boba Fett and that's all that mattered. And then kind of check out the back there. I think that's the, yeah, that's the original packaging there. 2013. So yeah. Boba Fett is one of my, or it makes the third Star Wars figures I have there. And yeah, I just, like, sometimes it's just, as a toy collector, it's just about the cool design. So, and Boba Fett just looks cool. So yeah. There's that, and yeah, I do this. Uh, yeah, as in, which is, I do something very atypical of me. If you know, I'm gonna show off Marvel Legends now. And Marvel Legends are usually some of the first figures, or the last figures I show because they're some of my uh, favorites. But this one, Deadpool, I don't care about Deadpool. This figure looks absolutely horrific, horrendous. They should have never made a figure like this. The only reason I got this is because I needed to build a figure piece for Sauron. Check that out, which includes head and upper torso. And I didn't want to pay. I thought about buying it online. I checked eBay for it, but it was almost what people were charging for that piece on eBay. You damn near easier to buy the whole figure. Oh, and guess what? Target happened to have them on clearance at one point for nine bucks, 10 bucks. So I was like, oh, that's perfect. And I have this bonus figure, which I don't like. So I'll probably sell it, give it away, whatever. Uh, if by wants it, let me know. Maybe I'll just send it to you. We'll see. Because I don't want it. He looks stupid. And yeah, it's Deadpool. We don't, need, we don't need more Deadpool. Seriously, we don't. So I'm going to throw you there. Next up is a figure I actually did want. Dagger. I just need Cloak now. But here's Dagger. And a little light, a little decent little uh, effect piece there. With, there they are in the back. Cloak and Dagger. And then on the side there, uh, I don't know who's the artist on that. I don't know. If anybody knows who did that piece, I don't even know which where it could be from. Uh, 
I don't know how many series they've had recently, but I know the with the TV series, they must have had a comic series at one point in the last two, three years, give or take. But yeah, uh, now this will show the other figures in the series there. But yeah, a dagger here, and yep, that's that from Marvel Legends, light Marvel Legends uh, haul this time. Oof, saving you for next. All right, next up, another Hasbro property. And I'm even wearing my Transformers earrings today. Transformers, War for Cybertron, or Siege, War for Cybertron trilogy. Transform is it War for, uh, I don't know. But whatever, Siege. I got some, uh, some new, I don't even, it's like, yeah, Voyager class figures here. And, what is this, Leader class, which is unnecessary, but. So, I saw these figures, came across them at, I think it was Wally World when I first saw them in person. I was like, oh, you know, they look pretty cool. And I do have, both of these from, what was the last Transformers sublime? I don't know, whatever it was. But Optimus Prime and Megatron. And these are definitely upgrades from the previous figures that I have. And I looked at reviews, watched video reviews, saw some images of them. I was thinking, yeah, these guys are definitely getting added to the collection. Serious upgrades, as I said, from the previous figure that I have. They look so much better and yeah. Not even a big Transformers guy, but I like cool figures. And I mean, I like some of the media stuff, but it's definitely just about having cool toys. So there's R on the side, and then on the side, got the Transformer, like the whole Siege thing, whatever that's going on. And then Megatron, he is. And then, so back there, Tank, Tanks with Memories. So you got Megatron, Optimus Prime, and then my boy, I was waiting for to come across another figure of this guy in a bigger scale. And it got, and I was kind of hesitant because of the price, but I had some gift cards for Target and <clears throat> I had someone buy them who was already, uh, some, one of my friends who was still working there, uh, use her discount and, uh, Red card, get the extra discount. So here he is, leader, leader class, shockwave. And this guy is, he, whew, he's stocked up. He's ready, for, he's ready for war. Look at him, shockwave. I have one other shockwave figure, but it's such a smaller figure. And I don't say, so, it's like a, what was it? It was just a deluxe figure from, I don't even remember what saw wave. That's something, I can't even keep track of all the Transformers sublines, sublines, all that whatever stuff. But yeah, here he is. Shockwave. Oh, he's bigger, such a bigger package. Hope I get all of them in the shot there. And this dude comes with like I just showed it back. Look at all this all the gear he comes with. Why? I didn't even want all this honestly. But I wanted Shockwave. And if they could have offered him just by himself without all this extra stuff, I would have ah I would have snatched him up in the with the ASAPness. Cause and this looks so cool. So I'm just happy to have a bigger shockwave here. And <clears throat> I want Starscream because I like Starscream, but I don't know about the, the figure looks kind of, part of the figure looks okay, but part of it I'm like, eh, some weird design, deci design decisions, like in the lower legs, like, yeah, lower legs and like the feet area look kind of weird. And then his vehicle form looks kind of like, ew, like why? I don't know, it's, it looks weird. So I'm thinking, so I was watching some reviews, and I'm like, ugh, it doesn't look so good. But robot form, it looks okay. And I keep most of my Transformers in their robot form anyway, but it's still, like, you hate to just have the vehicle form look bad. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know, so, I don't know, maybe in the future, we'll see. I might just take another look at them. <sighs> and now we're jumping across the world, uh, to one of the greatest fighters to ever live in our virtual world. Uh, from Bandai, SH Figure Arts, Street Fighter, Ken Masters. Look at him, finally joining. Oh yes, I was waiting for this guy. Cause I got Ken, or Ryu Kami, and uh, did I have Chun -Li? No, I don't have Chun-Li yet. But I had those two and I was waiting for, since I saw some of my previews, this was last year. When I first saw uh, that they were some more figures are coming, because Ken, I was like, Ken, soccer is coming. Oh yeah, I'm getting both of those. I don't have soccer. All right, did I figure it out? I don't even know. See, just I had toys everywhere. But 
Ken. I was like, oh yes, gotta get Ken. So, whew, there he is. I finally got him earlier this year. Wow, look at that man. I just need, they need to, seriously, they need to quit messing around and give me my Fei Long figure, put him in Street Fighter V, like they know they should have Capcom, get it together, and then I can get, which they probably just stopped this line, which is one of my toy collecting pet peeves. Uh, but I want a Fei Long figure. I need Fei Long in my collection. He needs to be represented. I need Fei Long to be immortalized in my action figure collection because he's dope. And I just need that in my life. And a lot of people do too. Now, <laughs> Next up, last but not so far from least, uh, this one, and this actually goes to show you how long ago, how long overdue this toy haul video is. Whew. Where's my, I gotta show, start with this guy, because my favorite, uh, some other Fantastic Fighters characters who have endured our hearts for several decades now, and honestly, 10, let's see, 2019, I don't know, like 10, 15 years ago, I was surprised that they were still relevant, that people still cared. I didn't think, I didn't think other people did. I mean, besides, I mean, obviously I knew people did, but I didn't realize that they were still as big as they were. Still had shows coming. I think some toys coming at decent, at several points. But then they got two stupid movies. Uh, but whew, I just, uh, these were actually GameStop exclusive. Yep, maybe somebody probably guessed it by now, but Ninja Turtles 1990 movie figures, and I'm showing my man Leonardo, my favorite turtle, the best turtle. You are here, the, the best Ninja Turtle, Leonardo, Mr. Katana himself, Blue Bandana, the leader. Ah, Ninja Turtles, man, it was. I think they were up for pre-order. It was supposed to be pre-order only, maybe. And then they finally, they were kind of, when they started trickling in the stores, uh, I think some people's orders got canceled. People didn't, some people didn't get their figures and they were coming in different stores or obviously distribution. So different stores were getting different amounts or whatever. I call up when I was, I was like, at first I was kind of head sounds like, I don't know. But then I was thinking, yeah, there's turtles. I need those in my life. So I was kind of just uh, waiting. And I'm checking GameStop's website, and then eventually I download the app, kind of track to see what store, like availability from what stores and whatnot. And I was calling some stores back home, calling stores around here. And there's stores near, there was a store near one of my buddies' place, and he was coming, he was coming to visit soon. So I was like, oh, I was like, bet. I called the store, they had all four of them. And I was like, oh, and they put them on hold for me. So he goes to pick them up. <laughs> He goes to pick him up. I just saw him all. There's Donatello. He goes to pick him up for me. And when he gets there, they only put one of my hold for him. Like, for me. He told me, but he like, wait a second. He knew I wanted all four of them. So he got all four for me. Mikey, take him out. Michelangelo. <laughs> uh, and so he got all four. He brought them all to me. And then, last up. Raphael, Mr. Red, Cy, uh, oh yeah. So he brought all four of those for me. So I got a whole set of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 movie figures, which is absolutely dope. And dollar was zero, not gonna have to pay scalper fees, none of that nonsense. Got a whole set, but that's not it. I got that, I had him do that because I was, whoever, I was kind of a couple people, like whichever, whoever was closest to a store that had him, but here is, uh, I send you money, pay you back, and bow, he brought him to me. But before that, I think a week before he, yeah, probably a week or two before he came, probably the next, actually the previous, it was a week before, I believe, This the GameStop in town actually got them in that the morning I called, I was like, oh, let me just double check. And I called this, they had a whole set, they had a whole other set come in. And I was like, oh, bet. So I went over there <laughs> and then I got them. So now I have, so I end up having two sets of Ninja Turtle movie figures. So 
One turtle, two turtle, three turtle, four, five turtle, six turtle, cow fucking bunga because yes, this is awesome. And Ninja Turtles are great. So I'm happy. I was geeked about that. And one set is definitely getting, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's something. Uh, but yeah, Ninja Turtles. So that's cool. So I had Ninja Turtles, Marvel Legends, Funko Pop, Transformers, Star Wars, Banda, SH, Figure Art, Street Fighter, or I should just say Street Fighter, Street Fighter, Ninja Turtles, Transformers, Marvel Legends, Star Wars, and Marvel Pop. So, yeah, I just, oof, what a time to be alive. Just all the dope toys that are out there, and so many more are coming. I mentioned this before in one of my previous toy, toy haul videos. I pre ordered some figures that are coming out in June and July ish that are absolutely dope. And I can't wait to get those in hand and show them off. I don't even say, that's all I'm gonna say about it. I'm gonna say where they're from, what franchise, nothing. Like, just wait until we get that mail call. And yeah, I just, oh my gosh, just got upgraded my uh, Megatron and Optimus Prime. Got a cool official Shockwave figure that I like, it's bigger scale. Two sets Ninja Turtles, hello. Almost completing my uh, Sauron Builder figure. Got uh, another Street Fighter. Oof. Yeah, I just got some dope toys and I was just happy so finally show these off so they can get cracked open and I just have all types of toys that need to be just open. I'm, I don't even know. I, I got tons of stuff I can do for content if I want to do some reviews but or, uh, photo galleries, whatever. But I'm just happy. I just want to show those off because I like doing showing my toy hauls and just talking about dope action figures. So and hopefully all of you enjoyed that as well. And yeah, that's, uh, that's that. That's my toy haul. I'm going to go do some other stuff right now. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for support, engagement. I love that. That's why I really like the engagement. Like, share, you know, subscribe, and yeah, we can, can chat it up. Gina the Dragon on Twitter, Instagram. Oh man, there's just tons of stuff I want to do. And yeah, so yeah, that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. Happy toy hunting. Happy collecting. <laughs> Peace out.